Hey guys, and welcome to my channel. I'm Kristen, and today we're doing some $1 placemat hacks. For this one, I grabbed these wooden houses originally from Target. I got them at a yard sale for 50 cents. Yes, that placemat is a secret one. Obviously, I didn't show it in the beginning, which is crazy because normally I do, but it is just a black. Nope, it's not black. It's a gray and white checkered pattern. It had some strawberries on it, $1 from Dollar General, and I just cut it down to size so I was able to glue these right inside the wooden houses. Now, we're going to be very uh open about this craft yes i did not cut these right and you know what i'm gonna say it's okay like it is okay to mess up during a craft like not everything is going to be perfect if i was to sell something like this of course i would want it to be perfect uh but you know what there's ways to cover up your mistakes like no big deal right no big deal so if you're having a hard time doing a craft and you're getting frustrated it's okay let's just take a deep breath it's okay. I decided to use some rope to cover up those terrible edges that I cut. But you know, when you're cutting into shadow boxes or cutting, trying to shape out, I'm not sure how to do it, especially with like thick placemats like this. Like there is just no way around of cutting this perfectly unless you want to measure inch by inch. And you know what? Nobody's got time to measure and mark everything. Like I said, unless you're going to sell these, but these are just going to go right on my hutch and they look adorable as is. So rope is from Dollar Tree. Placemats are from Dollar General. I love going to Dollar General and getting placemats or just a lot of items lately. They have a ton of items for $1. They just come out with this like, I don't know if it's a line or not, but they keep coming out with some amazing $1 items. And of course, this rope was just not in my favor. I could not get this to cut to save my life, obviously, you could see. And the scissors are great. The scissors cut like fabric and all kinds of things. I picked them up off Amazon. They're amazing. So I don't know, the rope was just giving me a hard time this day. I also love using silkscreen stencils or transfers, whatever you like to call them. I call them a little bit of both. But these ones are actually both from Amazon. And I thought... I was going to use these as shelves first off and then just like add things to the bottom. And I'm like, no, like it is not me. It is not decor. It is not decor. It is not decor. It's going to be decor regardless, but it is just not me if I don't use a silkscreen transfer. These are my favorite things to use. And I will tell you what, like probably 90% of things I use with silkscreen transfers, I end up keeping in my home or selling and it just works out and they look so pretty, so high end. And of course, you're going to see that I did end up getting chalk paste on the rope. I This wasn't like set in stone. So this wasn't like the first thing I thought about doing, or I probably would have added the transfer first and then the rope. It would have made life so much easier. Um, but yeah, this takes some time and normally I just kind of fly through it, but I kind of wanted to show you that it does take a couple minutes. You're going to mess up and it is okay. I did end up kind of painting the rope a little bit so you couldn't see the black completely on the rope, but this is what they look like when they are completely finished and I think they are so cute. Like I have wood rounds throughout my entire house and when I really want to use one I never have them so I decided just to reuse this I painted the back side I think for Christmas time and actually never finished it so I'm like you know what? let's use the back side it's not used it still looks great I'm using some black chalk paint to paint it you think it's going to be the bottom side but it's actually going to be the top side I just thought that this would work better just to paint as is and it is okay if you get paint along the side I'm going to end up covering that anyways I feel like every time I use painter's tape even if I press it down there's still always that little tiny area or that little tiny space that just gets away from you placemat this is from dollar general. I feel like they always have these. I feel like, I feel like, I feel like, I think that is my word of the video today. Cut it out and then I am just going to be gluing it to the bottom of the wood round. So I decided to use an Elmer's glue stick and I know everyone's going to look at me like I'm absolutely crazy, but so far these work. Even with my old placemat videos that I did, I want to say maybe a year ago, they still hold up. I mean, you can always use a little bit of hot glue around the edges just, you know, to peace of mind, but I always feel like it gives you that like really rigidy 
feel to the placemats. So I just decided to opt out of that. And Elmer's glue sticks, they work in my book. Like I use them all the time. Little pig sign is only $1 at Dollar General. They've had these the last few years. And sometimes I look at them, I'm like, I'm not going to grab them. I've already used them. And then I buy more. They have a cow, a pig, and a chicken. And then the last thing I do is just add this bow right to the top. These are from Amazon. I have tons of these and they are just my favorite to use for any type of farmhouse decor. But this is what it looks like when it is done. It is a quick and easy project. This placemat is actually from Dollar Tree, so it's $1.25, but I had this leftover sign. I ripped the cow out of the middle. This is from Dollar General and decided to pull this chicken wire out and actually use the sign. I thought about throwing it away and then I kept it because you just never know when you're going to want to use items and you got to like get your money's worth, right? I know it was only a dollar, but you got to get your money's worth. I decided to cut this little uh, saying out of the placemat and it fit perfect into the sign. I don't know how I did it or I have no idea. Like this was really a last minute thing. It wasn't planned. I was just like, what? This fits perfect. I am going to go ahead and use this. Use some hot glue to secure it. And that is it for this one. Love using these chargers. They sell them at Dollar General for a dollar or a dollar twenty-five at the Dollar Tree. This placement was also from Dollar Tree, and I don't really like paying that extra quarter, but if I can find a good one, then I have to grab it. I am just cutting this to size, and I really estimated this one and had to kind of cut it down a few different times so it would fit in the middle of the charger. Going back to my Elmer's glue, but I am also using some hot glue because the Elmer's glue was not going to get this placemat to stick to this charger. So just a ton of that. I'm laying it in the center. You're going to see that's not perfect, and you know, this is kind of what I'm here for. It is okay. I don't mind not being perfect, and I don't really mind... I just don't mind in general. Like if it looks cute when it's done, then it doesn't matter. But obviously to cover up the flaws, just grab some rope. That's what I'm doing here. And I've just used the same pieces of rope from the houses along with this charger. So I feel like that I'm using it, right? Like I, you always have rope and stuff laying around. You always have like a ton of money laying around in your craft room. So it feels really good when you are actually able to use up the items that you've already spent a million dollars on. I know it's only $1.25 but you know, it adds up after a while. This is some um, lavender. I think it's lavender. I'm pretty sure it's lavender. This was actually from Dollar Tree and it is super pretty. And I am just gluing kind of a pack, kind of flipping it around some on the top, some on the bottom, a lot of hot glue. It took a minute to secure. And then I'm adding this little flower right in the center. I love this burlap flower. It is from Amazon. It came in a pack and I just think this looks super cute. Yes, my rope was not having it that day. I think I'm gonna have to fix that. I can see it. I don't like it, <laughs> but it's there. All right, for this one. So this one, this was challenging. I wanted to add a placemat around this chicken. Is it a, like a vase? I think it's like a utensil holder. I've had this laying around my craft room and I'm not even kidding, probably for a few years. I had paintbrushes in it at one time and... I don't know. I just didn't want to get rid of it. I was going to eventually paint it. I'm like, let's just test this out. This placemat is from Dollar General, only $1. And now I'm just trying to, I'm trying to get this to work. I'm trying to make it look good. My arm is in the camera. Like it was all kinds of like cutting and trying to figure out, hopefully this would stay. And you know what? It stayed a ton of hot glue and this actually stayed and it actually worked. And I'm just trimming the edges down just to make this really flush with the canister. And I think this just worked out perfect. It's like a ceramic pitcher or ceramic utensil holder. And yeah, you can kind of see it a little bit, but I don't know. I thought this one was a pretty creative for a placemat. But that is it for the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please make sure you give it a thumbs up. And if you are new to my channel, I would love you consider sticking around and subscribing and I will see you all in the next one. Bye.